Hurtling towards Earth, a shooting star catches the attention of anyone looking up. But where does it come from? Out in the solar system, asteroids, comets and planetary fragments can move into Earth's orbital path, pulled in by gravity. As basketball-sized meteoroids approach Earth's mesosphere, frictional heating burns them up, producing the impressive light show of a meteor. These small meteoroids never make it to Earth's surface. Scale up to car-sized meteoroids and these rocky bodies power through the atmosphere, burning but leaving enough behind to deposit a meteorite on Earth's surface. Yet to produce impact craters, meteoroids need to be much bigger. House-sized objects, expelled from the asteroid belt, will enter Earth's atmosphere with a literal bang. The sonic boom can be heard for miles before the meteoroid strikes the Earth, compressing the ground. Kinetic energy is transferred into shock waves so powerful that the projectile and ground beneath can vaporize and melt. A transient crater is excavated by complex interactions between tension release and shock waves, whilst impact ejector can be expelled past the crater rim. Other material remains in the transient crater to later become crater fill impactites. Modification following large impacts sees central uplift of the crater floor and collapse of the unstable crater walls. Faulting continues far into the future, alongside hydrothermal activity, which changes the mineralogy of impact site. Earth has 200 known impact craters, a fraction of the 30,000 on the moon's surface visible from your backyard. Volcanism, erosion and the atmosphere all help to disguise Earth's past meteorite impacts. Yet the Chicxulub crater is a scar from an impact 66 million years ago, an event so devastating that it wiped out over 60% of life on the planet. Tsunamis, earthquakes and forest fires followed, which inhibited plant photosynthesis. Atmospheric dust and temporary global cooling occurred due to nitrous oxide released from pulverized rocks. But from devastation, life blossoms. Shocked rocks have increased porosity, helping microbes to colonize this biological niche. Crater lakes and hydrothermal springs provide unique, protected hotspots of evolution. And meteorites themselves bring carbon to Earth, an essential building block for life. There are economic benefits too. Canada's Sudbury Crater houses some of the world's largest copper and nickel deposits. Hydrothermal fluids have taken advantage of pathways created by faulting and fracturing of the impact crater to concentrate valuable resources into metalliferous ores. Similarly, oil and gas can migrate along these pathways, creating important hydrocarbon reservoirs. Studying impact craters is essential to understanding the frequency, consequences and value of meteorite impacts to better prepare for them in the future.